In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you an Etsy store that's doing over $500,000 selling print on demand. And the biggest thing is this store only started 10 months ago. We're gonna show you in this video exactly the type of store that they have and why their products actually sell. I'm also gonna be showing you how you can go out there and create this type of product from scratch using a couple of software tools and pretty much having zero experience. So let's go ahead and jump in. The store here is called Custom Trendy. They have done 12,559 sales. First up, let's show you how we get to those revenue numbers. So you can see here the store, if we take a look at one of their featured items, they've got this item here. It says 1218 on their store. That's kind of a general marketing strategy that people use on Etsy. They're going out there and giving some sort of option on their product that costs this price, but nobody actually buys that. If we go here and see what the 12 pound version is, it's an extra small unisex t-shirt. The people who clicked on this are likely looking a sweatshirt or a hoodie or one of the higher priced items. So you can see here the hoodies sell for anywhere from kind of 29 pounds here all the way up to 36 pounds on the bigger one. So if we take an average order value in this store of $40, if we go ahead and run the numbers here on a $40 average order value times the 12,559 sales that the store has made, we get to this $502,360 that this store has made. Now, if we look over here on Sales Samurai, which is an Etsy analysis tool, we can see that they've got 1,690 listings. So they're definitely uploading a lot of products. They've got 1,400 likes, but the main thing I wanted to show you here is this store was only created 10 months ago. If we take a look at their sales history, we can see how the store has been doing over the past couple of months here, or mainly just the last 30 days. You can see they're averaging about 100 sales per day in around this. That was probably leading up to something like Mother's Day. And then it's steadied off here. They're doing anywhere from kind of 30 to 50 sales per day. And you can also see here that they're uploading anywhere from kind of four to 10 listings. So how did I go about finding this store? Let's take a look. Well, I simply do this and I do this occasionally and that is go over here to the trending now section on Etsy. I'll leave a link to that down below, but if you just type in trending Etsy on Google, it'll take you to the trending Etsy page. So what I do is every once in a while, just come through here and see if there's anything that catches my eye. Now, I only really sell digital or print on demand products, so I'm not going out there and you know going to be creating something like this where it's woodworking or I'm not gonna be selling psychic readings because I don't know how to do that. So I'm looking for stuff like t-shirts, hoodies, prints, uh, digital products, cards, and stuff like that that we can actually sell. So when I was scrolling through here, one that took my eye was this one right here. So protect our oceans. And that's how I find this store. So I come in, I popped it into Seal Samurai, took a look at the store. And obviously this is kind of a polarizing topic, right? There's a lot of people who are very interested in climate change and going out there and making a difference in that area. But then you've also got this other side of it, which says, you know, it doesn't really matter. It's a polarizing topic. So if we take a look into their store, you can see what they're capitalizing on. Their store is called Custom Trendy. It's just a general store. They're not focusing on one main thing. So if we scroll down here and take a look at just a couple of their products, we've got Protect Our Oceans. This one, we've got, if I wanted the governance in my uterus, I'd buck a senator. Here we've got an all seeing eye t-shirt. We've got Christian t-shirts here. We've got Santa t-shirts. We've got, it's a good day to read a book. We've got God is good. So they've got a lot of different niches. They're not targeting one specific niche, but what they are targeting is niche communities. They're targeting people who are very passionate about the thing that they believe in, whether that's protecting the oceans and saving the earth, whether that's one side of the debate, which could be the whole abortion debate. And then we've got stuff like Ocean Beach. We've got, you know, books and reading, people who love that. They may want to kind of display that to the world. And that's kind of the message that they share here as well on their store. Wear what you feel. So they're really just selling to niche communities and people who want to kind of share and show everyone else what they believe in, what they do, or what they're passionate about. And I think that's a cool way to run a store. So how do you go out there and create a design like this with pretty much zero design experience? Well, I saw this one that was protect our oceans and I was just for this video, simply gonna put a spin on that and do protect our earth. So the first thing I did is went over to Creative Fabrica and this is the sponsor of today's video. You can go ahead and check them out down below. They have over 200,000 designs, fonts, illustrations, and much more that you can use on your print on demand designs. You can go ahead and you can check them out down below in the description. I'll leave a link that gets you a free trial to them so you can try it out and decide whether it's something you want to use on your product. But for me, I'm gonna design this product in this video 
using these designs. The first thing I actually searched was just, it was around uh, the seat. I searched over here, wheel clip art, and just scrolled down to see if there was anything similar to what they're using on their design over here, which is like a big wheel uh, with the wave behind it. Now, I, I didn't find anything specifically like that, but I did find some cool designs, which I thought would work well on t-shirts. For example, here we've got watercolor wheel clip art. So if I zoom in on this, you can see kind of what these look like. So you've got like a little light bulb here with the wheel and the boat. So you could use that as, you know, maybe a protect our wheels, save our wheels, you know, stop wheel fishing, something like that, which is a polarizing topic and could potentially sell well as people want to go ahead and demonstrate that. You could also even do it on prints here like this. But the next thing I then searched was watercolor earth pictures. And that's when I find this design here. There is an absolute ton of them out there on Creative Fabrica, but this one I thought looked really good. There's actually a pack of five here, which I've went ahead and downloaded. I thought these would look amazing on t-shirts. It's actually something that you could just simply wear. Even though I am gonna put messaging on it, I think just if you had this design on a t-shirt, it's actually something that people would wear. The design looks amazing. It's kind of got that kind of hippie feel to it. I think it'll work well. So I just went ahead and simply clicked download here and I did check that it has commercial and full POD usage allowed, which is means we can actually use this on our products and sell it and make profit without having any legal trouble. And that's one of the beauties of Creative Fabrica. So I downloaded this pack and then I went over to Canva, which is one of my favorite designing tools. I simply went ahead and then started creating a t-shirt design from scratch in Canva. I created a new file. I have videos on my channel of how to do this from scratch. If you want to check them out, I'll leave them down below as well. But for now, I just wanted to show you what I come up with. And it took me about two minutes. It's very simple and it's nothing crazy. You can see here that I put in our image that we downloaded from Creative Fabrica. That is our big earth. I then just put in protect our earth because that is, you know, it's very simple. It's powerful. It's a short kind of strong message that we can put on our design. It's also very similar to the design that is currently trending protect our ocean. So I went ahead and did that. And then I wanted to have some sort of quote on it because I noticed that on this design over here, it has this quote at the bottom kind of giving more information, some statistics about protecting our oceans. So I wanted to do the same on my design. So what I did was I used old trusty chat GPT because I don't really know too much about the topic. So I gave chat GPT a prompt and started speaking to it and going back and forth until I settled down here on a quote and a kind of call to action that I thought would work on this hoodie. And that was 50% of wildlife lost in the last 40 years is due to climate change act now, save our earth. I thought that was a powerful message. It was kind of a striking statistic. And people who care about this topic and want to share it and want to get more kind of, you know, awareness towards it, will happily wear this hoodie and it looks good. So it strikes the eye. People are going to see it more. And then when they see it, they're going to wonder what that quote is. They read it and it gets across the person's message. So that's another just selling point for this product. Someone is emotionally invested in it rather than just, oh, that's a cool design on a hoodie. I want it. They're actually emotionally invested in this. When they buy it, they know it's going to help them share their message with other people and get their point across while just wearing something that they actually think looks good. So that is exactly what I used on the design over here. You can see here, I put 50% of wildlife lost in the last 40 years is due to climate change. Act now, save our earth. So now we've got our design, what we wanna do before we create an Etsy listing, which I'm not gonna do in this video. I will again link a video up here somewhere that you can check out if you want to go ahead and learn how to actually start an Etsy shop. But most of you, it's very simple on how to go and create your listings and stuff like that. But the last thing we need here is a mock-up. So I went over to placeit.net, one of my favorite tools for getting mock-ups for pretty much anything. Right here, you can see that I have created one. I just simply inserted our image. They have hundreds over here on Placeit that you can use. I went ahead, I clicked insert image, and I got this one. Obviously, I wanted to put the person and the, who's gonna be wearing the hoodie in nature. I wanted it to look like an environment that the person who would wear this hoodie might be, so that's what I did. And you can see here, we've got a white hoodie. You can change the hoodie colors as well. You can see it says protect our earth down here. The mock-up looks good, the actual you know design, it kind of waves in terms of how the hoodie is sitting on her body. We can also come up here and change the color of the hoodie. We might wanna do like an earthy brown right here. We might wanna do like kind of a yellow hoodie. I think that looks quite cool or you could even come down here and just put in your own custom colors for your type of designs now some of these are going to look good some of them aren't depending on the color palette you have used obviously i think for this type of design i think these earthy colors look quite cool especially this orange one here i actually really like that design i think it looks great i think these autumn palettes over here as well will probably look good especially this green on green one here i think that looks quite good for this topic 
So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please go ahead, give it a big thumbs up, hit subscribe if you are new here, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you go ahead and check out Creative Fabrica down below in the description and thank them for sponsoring this video. You get that free trial in the link, sign up there, and you can start creating designs like this for your Etsy shop.